Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, we're going to look at how to unlock the HRO account. Now remember, while we were installing our database, we clicked a checkbox that says install sample schema. Now the sample schema actually belongs to the user HRO. So by default, after installation, the HRO account is locked. So as the database administrator, you will need to unlock the HRO account. So this is what we are going to learn in this video. But first, I'd like to appeal to you if you've not subscribed to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out whenever I upload a new video. Thank you. So for our lecture, I'm already logged in as the Oracle user and I'm connected to the database already. You know, and um, you can see from my screen that I already opened the database. But I need to be sure that I am in that database. So I'll use the command show con underscore name. Okay, so from our response, you can see that I'm still in the root database, which is the container database. So I need to move to the pluggable database where the HRO user is found to be able to unlock the user account. So I'll type the command alter session set container equal to OROCL PDB. And then the session is altered. So if I type the command show con underscore name, you can see I'm in the pluggable database OROCL PDB. So the first thing I want to do is to unlock the HRO user account. So I'll do alter user HRO account unlock. User altered, so the account has been unlocked. And then I want to change the password to be HRO as well. So again, I'll use the command alter user HRO identified by HRO. Wow. So the user HRO has been altered. His password has been changed to HRO. Now I'll try to connect the HRO user to the database and see if we are able to connect. So for this, I'll use the command connect HRO slash HRO, which is the password at OROCLPDB. And then enter. So the user HRO is connected. As the user HRO, let me try to query the tables I have in my schema. So I'll use the command select table underscore name from user underscore tables. So select table underscore name from user underscore tables. Okay, so these are all the tables I have in my schema. Regions, countries, locations, department, jobs, employees, job history, and then total number of rows, seven rows um, selected. So this is how you can unlock the HRO account. Now, in my next video, I'm going to establish a connection with the HRO user account on the SQL developer. Thank you for listening and see you in my next video. Bye for now.